not your ordinary preschool programming. My name's Lee Boy. Oh, yeah. Over there. Hey, what's up, man? And, and my name is Fuzz. Yay. Hey, I'm here. Hey, what's up, Ethan? We got the whole studio audience thing going now. Today, I want to talk about something that irritates me. Police brutality. Oh, no, Lee Boy. Police are here to protect the people. They wouldn't harm anyone without a reason. Fuzz. Oh, I didn't know you was part of the fuzz for real. My, my. Here come the fuzz. Oh, oh you holding up the blue wall of silence or what? That's not fair, Lee Boy. I just have faith in our public officers for legal investigations and criminal emergencies. Yay! <laughs> Police! Yay! That was real cute, Fuzz. And I do understand why you would think public officers would be here to serve the taxpayers and better the community. But in reality, they started off as slave patrol. And there were larger slave populations in southern cities. The slave patrols moved similarly into the city. And there they became professionalized and very quickly their duties expanded and they became a body that we would immediately recognize as a modern police force. And now, 200 years later, the basic function of the police is largely the same. It's maintaining the stratified nature of the society, both in terms of race and class. But things were so different back then. It's against the law to police with racial bias nowadays. Right, Lee Boy? Is that a real question, Fuzz? Have you seen what's been going on outside? In just this month alone, we've seen officers serving up SmackDown across the country. Yes, we had about a thousand masks here in the park and we, we, uh, we gave them out in about an hour. While that New York officer was handing out masks, this officer was a couple blocks away handing out ass whoopings. The NYPD says its Internal Affairs Bureau is investigating the officer has... Now let's go to L.A. Right here you can see two LAPD officers, a man and a woman, detaining another man... And this officer in L.A. is just letting the hands defense. go on the detained now, suspect. I mean, I'm trying to figure out where he's going with this. About, but His pride must have been hurt. The male officer aggressively attacks that man, hitting him with punch after punch to the head and face while... Fuck you! Uh -huh. Now we're in the Midwest where we see an Indiana man gunned down from behind while fleeing from police officers. Are all these shots really necessary? And they had a few things to say about his dead body. Then of course, there's Ahmaud Arbery, whose case recently made national news after video was released of him being murdered at the hands of a former police officer. Now this is clearly a manhunt, but of course, they'll try to paint him as the aggressor or as a burglar for a vacant construction site. And the list goes on and on. I hear you, Lee boy, but there's two sides to every story. I'm sure these officers had probable cause or reasonable suspicion or fear for their lives or perceived them as danger. I mean, Hey, are you sure you're not with the fuzz? It sounds like you pulled those right out of the pre-prosecution playbook. And, and speaking of playbooks, maybe now people will understand why Kaepernick kneels firm in his position all these years. I mean, not much has changed. I can dig it, Lee boy. I'm down for the cause. If you don't get that off your head, boy, you done messed with the wrong one. I got time today. I got time, boy. <laughs> now get back to the puppet patrol. So like I was saying, I don't like police brutality. My name is Lee Boy. Have a nice day. Slap.